attitudes are relatively enduring overall evaluations of objects, products, services, issues, or people. Attitudes play a critical role in consumer behavior and they are especially important because they motivate people to behave in relatively consistent ways. In general, consumers have positive attitudes toward products that deliver value. Likewise, when products deliver poor value, consumer attitudes are usually negative. An example here is when a customer have a very positive view about a particular bag. It makes her feel good and at the end, she intends to buy it. According to ABC approach to attitudes, attitudes possess three important components. Effect, Behavior, and Cognitions. To understand these components, consider the following statements. I really like my new iPod. I always buy Apple products. My iPod helps me study. I really like my new iPod is a statement of effect because the feelings or affection a consumer has about the product is captured in the concept of liking. I always buy Apple products refers to one's behavior regarding Apple products. My iPod helps me study is a cognitive statement that expresses the owner's belief about the usefulness of the product. According to functional theory of attitudes, attitudes perform four functions. The four functions are utilitarian function, knowledge function, value expressive function, and ego defensive function. The utilitarian function of attitudes is based on the concept of reward and punishment. This means that consumers learn to use attitudes as ways to maximize rewards and minimize punishment. The knowledge function allows consumers to simplify decision-making processes. For instance, a consumer might see a salesperson approaching him from a mall and remember that he doesn't like dealing with pushy salespeople and decide to walk the other way. The value expressive function of attitudes enables a consumer to express his or her core values, self-concept, and beliefs to others. Satisfaction comes from the expression of attitudes which reflect the self-image. For example, consumers who believe in the protection of animals and animal rights may join and promote the actions of a group like people for the ethical treatment of animals. Finally, the ego-defensive function of attitudes work as a defense mechanism for consumers. Ego-defensive function enables a consumer to protect himself or herself from information that may be threatening. For example, people who like to smoke may discount any evidence that smoking is bad for their health. In this case, the attitude works as a defense mechanism that protects the individual from the reality that smoking isn't healthy. As discussed earlier, the ABC approach to consumer attitudes suggests that there are three components to attitudes, affect, behavior, and cognition. Research indicates that these components may be formed in a sequential pattern. This attitude formation is known as hierarchy of effects approach. According to this approach, effect, behavior, and cognitions form by following one of the four hierarchies. High involvement hierarchy, low involvement hierarchy, experiential hierarchy, behavioral influence hierarchy. The high involvement or standard learning hierarchy of effects occurs when a consumer faces a high involvement decision. High involvement decisions are important to a consumer and often contain significant risk. In this hierarchy, beliefs about products are formed first. 
the consumer carefully considers the various product features and develops cognitions about each feature. Next, feelings or evaluations about the product are formed. The consumer may begin to think that the product is good and will suit his or her needs based on the beliefs that have been formed. Finally, after beliefs and feelings are formed, the consumer decides to act in some way toward the product. Here, a purchase decision is made. The consumer may decide to buy or not to buy the product. Low involvement hierarchy consists of a cognition behavior affect order of events. A consumer with an attitude formed via the low involvement hierarchy of effects bases the purchase decision on what they know as opposed to what they feel. The consumer establishes feeling about a product or service after the purchase. This limited knowledge approach is not suitable for life-changing purchases such as car or new home. Experiential hierarchy of effects is defined by an effect behavior cognition processing order. In this scenario, the consumer is influenced to purchase based entirely on their feeling regarding a particular product or service. Impulse purchases can be explained from the experiential perspective. These purchases are open motivated by feelings. Impulse purchasing means that a consumer buys a product spontaneously and with little concern for consequences. The behavioral influence hierarchy suggests that some behaviors occur without either beliefs or effect being strongly formed beforehand. Strong environmental pressures lead to behaviors without belief or effect formation. An example of this may be found when a consumer eats at a restaurant playing soft, slow music. Restaurant managers know that one way to get people to relax and order more drinks is to play soft and soothing music. Consumers have been conditioned to slow down and relax when slow music is played. As such, behavior is influenced by environmental cues. This means that there are times when behaviors may be performed in the absence of strong beliefs or feelings. The attitude toward the object model Proposes that three key elements must be assessed to understand and predict a consumer's attitude. The first element consists of the beliefs a consumer has about a salient attribute or feature that the consumer thinks the product should possess. The second element is the strength of the belief that a certain brand does indeed have the feature. The third element is an evaluation of the attribute in question. These elements are combined to form the overall attitude toward the object. This approach is known as a multi-attribute approach because consumers consider a number of attributes when forming attitudes in this way. Attitude behavior consistency refers to the extent to which a strong relationship exists between attitudes and actual behavior. Behavioral Intentions Model, model developed to improve on the ATO model that focuses on behavioral intentions, subjective norms, and attitude toward a particular behavior. Theory of Planned Action, which expands upon the Behavioral Intentions Model by including a perceived control component. This component assesses the difficulty involved in performing the behavior and the extent to which the consumer perceives that he or she is in control of the product selection. Attitude tracking refers to the extent to which a company actively monitors its customers' attitudes over time. What is important to understand is that even though attitudes are relatively enduring evaluations of objects, products, services, issues, or people, these attitudes should be monitored over time to gauge changes that may occur.